<laughs> sorry. Sorry, honey. Sorry. What year is it? 1987. Oh, look at her outfit with the tracksuit. Oh! What's up everybody, my name is Nick. If this is your first time here, how's it going? If this is not your first time here, welcome back. I hope everybody is having a wonderful day today. As you can tell, spooky season, or just costume season, the, the, the season, in which I am the most alive, is in full effect. And <laughs> if y'all thought that I was gonna go through this season and not go all out for it, do you even know me? Okay, so yes, as you can see, um, um, mm, my epidermis is showing. And I am here to have a good day today because today we are watching something a little bit funnier. We've had, you know, the heart stopper, we've had trauma like the sadness, and we've had whatever you wanna refer to Chucky season three as, but I figured, you know, since the next video that we will be doing, that one is probably traumatizing. But today, we are watching something a little bit funnier, something brand new. For today's video, we are going to be watching 2023's Totally Killer. I don't know the plot of this movie. What I do know about this movie is it stars Kieran Shipka, I think I'm saying her name correctly, from Sabrina. And it stars my queen of variety, Liliana Liberato, also assuming that I am saying that correctly. That is Quinn from Scream 6. And she was also in another movie that I reacted to here on the channel, The Beach House. That was like a year and a half ago. That was a good movie too. I would just like y'all to know, I shaved my chest for this. Not that there's a lot to shave <laughs> because yeah, it's a whole thing, but I'm going to do my best to not have nip slips. <laughs> what is the joke from White Chicks when she's like, she went in for the Gwyneth Paltrow and came out looking like freaking Shrek. I went into Spirit Halloween aiming for Patrick Swayze and came out looking like Lil Richard or as J Meets World told me, I looked like Lionel Richie. But yeah, so this movie, I didn't watch a trailer. I think it might have something to do with time travel, but I'm not sure. Kieran Shipka, the only things that I have seen her in was Sabrina, and I'm gonna be real honest. <sighs> Sabrina was my least favorite character of that show. And I also did not finish that show because it was just getting on my nerves. Also, she popped up in the other two. All I know is that it's supposed to be funny. I think it's supposed to be like retro, which Obviously. Before we get into this though, if you would be so kind to like, comment, subscribe, and hit the notification button so that you can get notifications for whenever I upload a new video. If you are interested in what I am doing outside of YouTube, you can catch up with me on both Twitter slash X and Instagram. And if you wanna see more content from me, you can check out my Patreon. You'll get access to an exclusive catalog of full-length reactions, full-length audio commentaries, polls to help me pick what I watch next. You can check out the entire list down in the link below. I am ready to get into this. So without further ado, let's get into Totally Kidding. Killer. I look ridiculous. <laughs> 35 years ago, three girls were found brutally murdered. No, not Liliana. Tiffany Clark was found butchered in her family garage. I, Tiffany. 16-year-old Marissa Song also stabbed 16 times. Okay, so there's like something with the whole being stabbed 16 times. The sweet 16 killer wore all black and a mask. I low-key love the mask. It kind of like, I mean, obviously like it's different, but it kind of reminds me of the masks from um, Sugar and Spice. Ooh. Hey, murder tour. Can I interest anyone in a free sample of our Zata Fry holes? The Sweet 16 killer began their murderous rampage through the town of Vernon. Killing three people. I don't know about you, but when I think serial killer, I think like at least six people. <laughs> she was a little bit too excited about that. All right, Sabrina, let us pray we get through this movie and you don't make me want to Cause ugh, in that show, y'all, ugh. A nightmare, literally a nightmare. Well, he's amazing now, and- Now I ain't gonna lie, the look that she's got going on right here, I'm here for that. Jamie, if you're gonna borrow my things, at least take care of them, this is vintage. Also, the mom from Modern Family, love her. Honey, check this out. Norm Dubasage uh, is reporting from the hurricane in Florida. He's in everything, he's in everything. Freddy versus Jason, obviously. He was uh, Riverdale, scary movie, with the, you know, the tiny, tiny, t t tiny penis. T like, it was dirty. They turned the hot water off in the showers, all right? You're the same age as we were. So I can't go to a concert because your friends were murdered 35 years ago. So they knew the people that were murdered? They were friends with them? Keychain pepper spray. It 
alarm. You've made me take self-defense classes since I was seven. So like, if you are concerned that she's now 16 years old and is potential, uh, because you know, your friends were murdered when they were 16 years old, maybe move out of the town. <laughs> like, why would you stay there? What's up? Group mom chat stuff. Wasn't that a guy's name? Was she being a little cheater skeeter? She better not. Yeah, I texted her we're here. Why don't you just knock? No, it's so rude. Is that what like the current generation thinks right now that knocking on your door is rude? Happy Halloween. Yeah, happy Halloween. I like the like the color palette and the lighting. It's giving scream. <laughs> Jesus. Why would you open the door? Also, why do you have glass on your door? People who have glass on their do front doors, absolutely not. Ooh. Ooh, 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 ooh. There you go, there you go, there you go. I've been worried about being murdered since I was 16. You thought I wouldn't be prepared? Look, she's like Sydney Prescott. Shit. Oh, she's getting fucked up though. Oh, 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 oh. The cops will be here any second. Ugh, she's holding the knife upside down and it bothers me. It's like that promo picture of Neff Campbell at Scream 4, which is holding the knife upside down. And it bothers the shit out of me. Oh, oh, she is fighting for her life. <gasps> oh, she got him. Why did you not? No, double tap. You always double tap. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Well, this is kind of like hard to watch a little bit, but you see they cut away from it We didn't need to see copious amounts of gore They cut away from it and I feel like that's more effective like, If you think about like the first couple of screen movies Sometimes you saw people getting like stabbed like as compared to the newer ones where you like see every knife go in and the skin twisting and shit This I feel like that's more effective That was a good ass opening you better work we're also dealing with the return of the sweet 16 killer. I'd like to turn it over to coach Finkel coach Finkel Avoid the knife, keep your life. Uh. <laughs> Stupid. <laughs> your mom was always such a wonderful lady. She was always so nice to me. Can you stop saying was? Should he say is? Like, she's six feet under. You know where your dad was the night your mom was murdered? Jesus, Kara, you don't want to warm up to that? Wait, they're deciding to interview her about her mother's death in the middle of the hallway at the high school? Really? Maybe it's time to let go of whatever old high school bullshit you've been hanging on to and do what your broke ass rent-a-cop dad failed to do 35 years ago and catch the fucking killer. She got a point. She got a point. Red for filth. Sorry. <laughs> Was that the killer? He looked sus. What are you gonna tell people you're building a time machine? A time machine? Oh yeah, this is about time travel, isn't it? I think so. If I can get this thing to work. What's wrong with it? I thought it had something to do with the Wi-Fi. <laughs> Imagine, I can't get my time machine working because I can't connect to the Wi-Fi. Why is it set to October 27th, 1987? Is she gonna try to go back in time and stop the murders from happening, thus saving her mother? I just thought that if we could stop the Sweet 16 killer from killing in the first place. Changing the past doesn't change the future. Listen, I trust Bruce Banner in this, okay? It bothers me that her pants don't reach her ankles. That bothers me when anybody's pants don't reach their ankles. I know it's like a look, it's like a style or something like that, but it, it's always bothered me. Cause like when I was growing up and I was too poor to buy like really nice pants and people would be like, oh, are you flooding? Is there a flood somewhere? And I'm like, what are you talking about? Well, you got your pants yanked up like there's a fucking flood. I didn't know that you listened to that podcast. Was mom friends with Chris Dubasage? Sheriff Lim said they texted. No, she was texting him in the beginning, right? Because that's the one that she was like, oh, it's just like a mom Facebook group or something. The cops gave up a long time ago. Chris was the only one still investigating. Oh, is Chris like the podcaster? Okay. He likes your dad, though. Says he's going to win another Pulitzer. My podcast has won five Podsy awards. Is that an actual thing? Do podcasts win awards? Ugh. She never told me about this. She didn't tell anyone. Why though? She said she was afraid to. Why? It would make it real or something. Yeah, that's kind of dumb. If you get a death threat from the serial killer, you should fucking call the police. Like what? Uh, wait, 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 Her mother was just murdered in this, ugh, really? And she's just out fucking walking by herself in the middle of the night at this abandoned theme park. She, really, queen? Sometimes you gotta root for the killer because like, the victims are so dumb. <laughs> Wait, is that real? He just tried to get her in the... Oh, because one of the victims was killed at Billy's boardwalk, so he's probably trying to kill her there, too. Oh, 
Um, for me, it's the fact because I like I've had my ears pierced so many times, but I want to get my ear pierced again because I like I'm obsessed with the the single dangly ear look. <laughs> that I love it. I love it. Oh shit! Does that mean that she's gonna bring him back into the past with her? Ooh. Come through special effects. my dream it is my dream i just have one day just 24 hours where i am alive in the 80s but like mid to late 80s no not the early 80s well i'll take what i can get oh, sorry sorry honey sorry what year is it 1987 oh look at her outfit with the tracksuit oh the 80s are almost over and i haven't even tried coke yet uh. <laughs> you're a total stranger Give me a serial killer would a serial killer wear gloria vanderbilt <laughs> I like her. <laughs> I'm an exchange student. There's your schedule. You don't need to verify anything. What is this, Fort Knox? <laughs> How times have changed. How is this school issued? We look like we work at Hooters. No, ma'am. No, you do not. In no way, shape, or form. Oh my God. Look at her. Look at her. Look at her. Look at her. Look Life at her. Is Life is about, about variety. variety. Oh, is this dodgeball? Didn't they outlaw dodgeball for being cruel? Buffy reference. Watch The Pack, season one, the worst game of dodgeball. Oh my God. I can see why it was banned. You're out, bitch. Ah, look at the hair. Look at her hair. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God. We stand. We stand. Hot tip. Next time, catch the ball. Then I don't have to touch your gross little kid blood. <laughs> I relate to this teacher. <laughs> Oh, that would be so weird. Come over after school and you can set up for the party while I do my hair. I'll come over. I can take care of my little Richard wig. <laughs> Maybe you should fuck off and die. Jesus, <laughs> mom. Masita. Rude. Hablas espanol? Está bien. Vete a la mire, more. You better let her know. Chinga tu madre. Por qué tu cago en mi leche? Stop right there. I'd like to report a crime that hasn't happened yet. I know that sounds crazy. Have you seen the movie Back to the Future? Oh, 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 oh. On the left. On the left. Um, 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 WandaVision. Ant-Man. Oh my god. I haven't seen you around before. Yeah, I'm an exchange student. Prince Edward Island, Canada. Sounds made up. It's not. It is. <laughs> Can you please just watch Back to the Future? Back to the Future would have been out, right? Because that came out in, what is it, 1984? The first one? I don't know. I've only seen those movies once. Hate time travel movies. They never make any sense. Mm. Endgame made perfect sense, in my opinion. I need to know what class Lauren Creston is in. I know that's private information, but it's an emergency. I have an EpiPen that she needs. Due to a Earth severe Sciences thing. Room 217. Oh my God, flying on a plane right now must be insane. Oh my God, can you even imagine? I mean, the 80s, I mean, it kind of was, but like the 80s must have been like a, a serial killer playground. 35 years from now, your daughter builds a time machine based off of plans from a notebook, your notebook. She's either gonna be like, you crazy bitch. Or she's be like, oh, I believe it. Cause we don't know how far, you know, back that she was planning this whole, let me invent time travel. No one knows about my notebook. Yeah, except for me. I have proof. Oh, she brought her iPhone into the past with her? Who are the Mollies? Oh, Tiffany, Marissa, Heather, Pam. They called themselves the Mollies after Molly Ringwald. Oh, so it's like the plastics? Ugh, who's that? It's giving serial killer. You can start trying to invent time travel without considering the possibility that people from the future will need your help. See, I like that. I like that. They should do more of that in time travel movies. How much do you know about quantum mechanics? I saw Endgame. Hey, Endgame! <laughs> <laughs> Whatever changes you make, they'll trickle downstream. If I change everything for the better, it's okay. But would that really change the future based upon what they've said so far? Because like, if she's changing stuff in the past and that's automatically changing things in the future though, wouldn't that mean that everything that we're seeing in this movie of her going in the past has always happened? I don't know. Time to, I don't know. <sighs> Thanks for letting me borrow some clothes. Yeah, no problem. What was wrong with the clothes that she was wearing before? Oh, that's her on the right. Oh, well, she's changed. It was bad for her. A lot. <laughs> it was really bad for her. Yo, there's Dungeons and Dragons down the street. Y'all have fun. What is that called? Like House Party, you know that movie where it's like a flat top? I don't know. I like that. <laughs> it's very 80s and 90s. Hey, why don't you give us a boost? Right, just then I'll go back around to the front and, and you can let me in. Or they can just open the damn gate. Okay, thanks. <laughs> Just open the gate. Milady. Oh my God. Why aren't they just opening the gate? 
That's Blake Hughes? Oh my god. Uh, it's my dad! Uh, what the hell? There ain't no way. That's a, he's a different nationality. <laughs> That's not a white person. Or maybe it is, I don't know. He looks like Jason Momoa. There they are. The Mollies. All four of them dressed like a different version of Molly Ringwald. I mean, they look great though, I ain't gonna lie. Don't do that. Don't do that. Don't, don't, don't. Hey, no pictures, douche massage, just be everywhere. Oh, I was about to say that has to be the podcaster guy. What the fuck? He didn't have to throw her like that. <laughs> like, it's a little much. Whoa. You will become a miserable person, never knowing true happiness and rocking an unflattering haircut that makes your head look like a ping pong ball. I mean, she ain't wrong. <laughs> Runner for filth. <laughs> you made out with Eddie Royal, lead singer of Killer Instinct? Wait, they have his music in Canada? I love her so much. <laughs> Tiffany is in a crisis. Randy. I mean, Miss Kieran, fight back. And that's kicking your ass. How did you do that? Because she ain't no bitch. That's how she did that. Oh my God, a water bed. I wanted a water bed so badly, but we were poor and we couldn't get a water bed. I couldn't get a bunk bed. I wanted that little race car bed and I couldn't get that shit either. Too many PJs. Hopefully there's room for one more. Ooh. Oh, ew, I don't do blowjobs. You pee out of that thing. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why that was. <laughs> that was funny. Are you from the future? Yeah. Where's the garage? They have a lot of split diopter shots in this. I mean, there's like a lot of them. Normally I'm used to seeing like one or two of them in a movie. There's just a lot more in this already. Eddie? That ain't Eddie. That's the killer. But I thought she dies in the garage. I don't go after boys. They come after me. I mean, I admire the confidence, but don't do that. I changed it. God, where's Tiffany? Tiffany! Yeah, I was about to say, she would have changed it. I also feel like she brought the present day killer back with her. Maybe I'm wrong, I don't know. But yeah, all the events are gonna be different now. Otherwise, that would be too easy, right? What the fuck is that mask? Are you gonna take it off? No, Linda 2.0. Oh no, oh no. <gasps> oh no! She died again? Ugh, ugh. Oh god, oh. The stabbings are so, like, ugh. I wanna know what is the significance of the 16 age and the 16 stabs? Is it like ritualistic? Are they, is it, are they summoning a demon? Is it witchcraft? Like, what is it? I tried to warn you. There's never been a murder until you showed up. Yeah, I was wondering about that when she was like screaming out her name running through, like it's gonna make her seem like a suspect. Cause like, how would she know this? They're not gonna believe that she traveled from the future. Sorry about your friend. You know, I didn't even really like her. She was so mean. Well, she was fabulous though. How did you know that she was in danger? I'm psychic. She literally just saw her shake her head like saying, don't say that shit. So how far into the future can you see? Until the year 2023. <sighs> so dramatic. Do the machines kill us all? Um, no, the machines don't. See this? This is what's confusing me because there's now been two scenes like when she first showed up to the party and then right now her hairstyle has changed. Now she has like the bangs that are swooping to the side before they were like parted in the middle. What are y'all doing? Pam. Can you think of anyone who doesn't like the Mollies? Okay, well, I know you've been through a lot tonight. Yes, we have. And you're just making it worse, so can you please go? She's like, that's grandma. Can you stop being a bitch? Oh, so what, like, you have a great relationship with your mom? No, but I wish I did. Yeah, if your mom's not, like, you know, abusive or psychologically abusive or, you know... <sighs> Like a crackhead that's like trying to sell your toys for like crack money and stuff like that. Perhaps you should be nice to your parents. Well, the ones that are nice to you. Oh, now she's making it out of an arcade game. That's kind of cool. So is that the <gasps> Time Machine 2.0? Uh, no, right now it's just a cheap piece of shit I got off of Craigslist. Oh. Is he the killer? It's giving Nancy Loomis, like he shows up, or Debbie Loomis, whatever. Debbie Salt, Debbie, Nancy, uh, whatever the 
it is. Like showing up at the crime scene, or constantly being there. Mm hmm I think he's the killer. The killer's knife must have got stuck in the conductor somehow, and Jamie's trying to tell me that I need an actual metal conductor. No, I think he's the killer, and I think he shows up because he's trying to deter people from figuring out the truth. <sighs> Look at that. She will be missed. Burn in hell, Tiffany. <laughs> If your parents don't get married and have kids, then you'd basically just have no life to go home to because everything would be different. So what if they did like a blood test on her in the future and it shows that she's like genetically theirs? Would she just be like an anomaly or something? I don't know. Is no one here in touch with her emotions? Well, I'm in touch with this emotion. <laughs> Punch him in the dick. Maybe I should just cancel my party. It feels in poor taste now. But it's your birthday. No, maybe you should cancel the party so you could secure your life. Also, what if like one of these girls that were murdered like ends up being like Hitler 2.0 we know in the future. Oh, how do we know? Yeah, you might have just made a fact just now. That's some real shit. Shoot him in the Oh no. We got the little Unabomber Jr. over here. I actually like Lurch. He works at Billy's Boardwalk, and one time he caught me going down on Reed Demento in the dollhouse of horrors, and he didn't rat us out. Oh my god, you gave Reed a blowjob in there? Were people around? Maybe. I feel like if you go into the dollhouse of horrors, you can only blame yourself if you see something you don't want to see. I cannot, I cannot. <laughs> pee comes out of there. I like how they're like, oh my God, blowjobs are horrible because pee comes out of there. Wait till they get to 2023 when people are just eating ass like it's their last meal. <laughs> I thought it was just gonna be us four. What is the big deal? Did you just want to les out this weekend? Bitch, aren't you already aware that there's a serial killer after you and you're like acting confused? Get it together. Ugh. No one goes anywhere alone, especially you, Marissa, and absolutely no one goes outside. I feel like Marissa's still gonna end up dying just like my queen did. <laughs> I feel like it's gonna be like the very last thing when they're after either her mom or something that she's gonna like figure something out. But I feel like the people who died are still going to die. Go inside! Hey guys, there's pizza inside! Pizza? Oh, that was like a thing with the 80s, right? They were obsessed with pizza. Cause like my favorite band, The Midnight, it's part of their aesthetic. Like the pizza and Pizza Hut and Pizza Palace and Pizza Place, Pizza Plus. Now oh, I want pizza. Oh my God, your hand! <laughs> Not him using bread. Also, how do you slice your hand to that point and you don't feel it? I mean, I get that he's attractive, but damn. Stop being lame and start having some fun. Not her making a cocktail and it is literally 99.99999% vodka with a burp of orange juice. <laughs> what the f***? <laughs> She holding her hand up so she doesn't bleed out. <laughs> oh my God. The blood from my hand must have gone to my brain. She didn't want to let us out this weekend. She's a psychic. <sighs> uh, well, you know, the bus that she rides always gets to the school eventually. Randy! Randy! Oh no. Oh no, she's just gonna watch her get killed. Hey! Girl, just break the window. I don't understand why she's doing that. Just break the window. Yeah, girl, run. Oh, oh no, oh, oh shit, oh shit. That just cracked like a spine, the vertebrae, something like that. Oh. That's right. Ooh. Oh shit. Oh no, he got stabbed. What does that mean for the future? Get his ass. Get him again. Get him again. Get him again. Get him again. Oh, oh, no, no, no. Don't let his ass stab you. If she gets stabbed right now. Why are they all so fucking stupid? I mean, I get that they're supposed to be high and drunk or whatever, but like, come on. Oh, is this like another situation like Scream 6 where like the killer gets, you know, hit in the head and doesn't respond to it like a normal human being? I'm sorry. <laughs> What's this? I, I hit the killer in the head. You have his DNA. What's that? No, 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 no. They had DNA in 1987. Listen, I listened to Crime Junkies. They had DNA in 1987. It wasn't as good as it was now, but that would still be something. Out, I hid in the closet. And you didn't hear her screaming? There was music blasting. Daddy, I didn't do anything. Oh, wouldn't that be interesting if the one that was like, I'm gonna solve this was actually the killer. Maybe she's doing all of this so that she can make herself seem like the most important one by solving the crimes that she's committing. Oh, he was dressed like one of the Frog Brothers in The Lost Boys. This is impressive. What the f oh my God. 
There's what a signal. That? You expect me to believe that this bitch's iPhone lasted multiple days? I don't think so. And she doesn't even have power save on? Absolutely not. That's right around the time Heather's killed. Where? The Halloween carnival. Ooh, and it's Halloween themed? Yes. Ooh, what happened? Get away. Hit him with the plunger. Oh, well, she hit him. Why are you parked outside Tiffany's party? I wanted to go. Oh, wait a minute. I feel bad for him all of a sudden. You ever played Death Wish 3? The graphics are amazing. When you kill someone, they explode into pink mist. It's giving Freddy's dead. Great graphics. Okay, so we need a new power button. One that can generate a shit ton of force. Enough to basically disrupt gravity. Well, how did the original one uh, generate enough force to disrupt gravity? They're both the same thing. I don't understand that. One of the exterior panels. Quantum drop goes down, that goes on break. God, the 80s are wild. I think you mean amazing. That's when you could have hair like this. What are you doing? He's probably gonna go after Marissa. Oh my God. Or me. If your visions are wrong, then anything could happen. Yeah, actually that poses a good question. Why did he go after the other girls if they're all part of the same group, but he didn't go after her and was just like, someday I'll get you. Like what made him stop? What if he slits her throat before she has a chance to press the button? The killer always stabs his victim 16 times. Yeah, but they interrupted him when he was stabbing the last person. So he didn't get her 16 times. What are you doing here? I feel like you guys have been avoiding me since the cabin. She's the killer. I'm telling you, she's the killer. She wasn't invited and then she suddenly shows up up, she's the killer. Oh wait, so there's the killer and he just hit the podcaster, so that rules out the podcaster. Jesus Christ. Randy! Uh-uh, uh-uh, the one in the white mask, that's a real person. Yeah, right there. That's flat top. That one's real too. That's her. Oh, that, oh yeah, that's right. They're waiting in there to get the. Never mind. <laughs> I'm done. Hey, 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 Jesus. Why didn't you get his ass right then and there? And also, is this one of those situations where the killer, like while they're in the mask, gets hit upside the head and in the face and somehow doesn't have a bruise or anything like that? I know that would make it too easy, but you know what? I dare a director to actually figure out a way to successfully incorporate that into a movie because realistically, if they were hit in the face, what's not clicking? They would have a mark. <laughs> Y'all, why are they so dumb? <laughs> Hit him, thank you. Finally, also, wasn't he already stabbed at least once? He was stabbed in the shoulder or something, right? Y'all should just go, uh, go like this and just hitting people in the shoulder. That'll help you figure it out. Oh. I told you I wasn't the killer. I don't believe it because they made the comment that there are two killers and they mentioned Scream. I think that's supposed to be the gag of it all is that there is two killers. I still think that the sheriff's daughter is one of the killers. Wait, I don't, what? He must have known about the sleepover. The sleepover. Yeah, what sleepover? You got her drunk and let her drive home? We tried to stop her, but she was too upset. You pretended to be her friend, bullied her, got her wasted, and then let her drive home. Pam wasn't there. Tiff and I got in a fight over the summer. We didn't talk for months. So that's why she wasn't targeted? Then why would Doug promise to kill you one day? He didn't. He was going to. Wait, I feel like there's something with this that we don't know about. Okay, well, it doesn't matter now, right? He's dead. Oh! Oh shit, uh, not her hitting the fucking f alarm. <laughs> oh my God. You killed Doug, there is no adult Doug anymore. And how the hell did he even get here? Amelia. Earhart? Amelia? Amelia? Amelia, I can't wait. Is she dead? What happened? I don't understand what's going on. To be some sort of foot chase and a young woman just gave me a warrant. Oh. What? Poor Norm. So wait a minute, if they killed who it is, there is two killers, I'm telling you. Take it with you! Better than leaving him here! Go! Really? Then you're gonna have two killers in the future. Or three. I don't know how many killers there are. Is that the same knife from Scream? It's a buck knife, because I could tell by the blade. I'm weird. I could tell by the blade design, but it's not the buck 120, which is what they use in Scream, because the handle is different. Y'all can still roll. Pretend like this is a fire and can drop and roll, girl. Oh shit. Oh wait, so she got, wait, 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 who is that? Who is that? 
It was him! I told you I got it right the very first guess that I had. I knew it was him. It's hard to sustain interest in three kills 35 years ago. But now the Sweet 16 killer's back, and he's the boogeyman. He can be anywhere at any time. Can't be killed. He's Michael fucking Myers! Keep his name out your mouth. But I'm being real honest, I don't understand any of the- I don't understand. I don't know. You are gonna die in my time machine! Not if I'm in the center! Girl, destroy the shit now then! He just told you his plan and you're just standing there looking like- Drama. Like- <laughs> Enjoy the ride. What the fuck is that? Oh, that's right. She did say something about that. I Okay, so wait a minute. So the one guy, like the hall monitor guy, he was the killer originally. And then in the future, the podcast guy was like, nobody cares about this, like three victims or whatever. It's not enough to uh, sustain interest in the story. So then he decided to be a killer as well and then attacked Kieran Shipka and then accidentally got pulled into the pe Okay, all right, all right. We're there, we're there, we're there, we're there, we're there. Mom! Honey? Honey? Oh, mom. Oh, mom. So wait, she's a. I don't... I okay, guess she saved her. Wouldn't she remember that though if it altered the future? Everything is different, but I think I got the big stuff. Hey, sorry, I'm late. Jason and Veronica are on their way. Who is this? Who is that? Who is that? And that is your 34 year old brother. <laughs> oh my God, why does that keep happening? I like it. I like it a lot. So it sounds like she changed a lot of things for like the better. The mom's still alive. She's friends with everybody. She's got a. A nice older brother. And the grandma's still involved. Oh my God. And Jamie's a homosexual. Yes, 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 yes. As long as he doesn't see me from here down, that we, we got a chance. All right, so that completes Totally Killer. That was good, that was great, I loved it. That was so much fun. I will say that I, the, the time traveliness towards the end of it with the explanation, it, I think I get it now. Look, 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 what is that? What is that, oh my God. Assuming that I'm understanding this correctly. The hall monitor guy was the original killer. The podcaster guy in the future was like, nobody has any interest in, you know, a serial killer who went after three people. So he decided to become the second killer and like, be a copycat killer to try and reignite interest. Like, get a fucking job. Like, what? He is the one, so I was right. So he did go back in time with her. But I guess I don't know, like, when did he show up? Ver like, when was he ma doing the murders versus the other one? Like, that I'm a little bit confused on, so let me know down in the comments, because that I'm a little bit confused on. But in general, putting the logic of the movie aside, I thought it was really, really good. My queen did not last long enough, but you know, it's not about how long you last. It's about how good the journey is. Aside from all of that, I thought that this was very fun. I thought it had a great cast. It wasn't scary, but I, I mean, it was violent. Well, as you can tell, I have to get to my, my night job, which is Chippendales, apparently. So let me know what you thought about this movie down in the comments, and I will see you for the next one.